Hey, Spuddies! Potatomic Whiskey here, and welcome back to Let's Play Europa Universalis 4 as Yemen. Now, where we left off, we had just kind of conquered Ethiopia. Uh, we were taking a bit of a bite out of a doll, and we were looking to also expand Ethiopia even further down the line. There's a few provinces here that I would like to give them. Now, I did kind of steal some provinces for Funge, but it's all fine. And I even actually own some of Funge's provinces over here. But yeah, I gotta get Ethiopia. I want to grab all of these provinces off of these guys. I may even try to feed Ethiopia these two provinces here and some of these ones. Then, uh, there's a couple of other things we need to deal with, which is namely these, uh, these big old bad boys of Doom stacks that I'm dealing with here. There's a 40, there's a 40k stack over here, a 31k and a 4k stack over here. So we're gonna have to deal with these. This will take a bit of time. We did have to take a loan, which is kind of painful, and we are going to have to pay some army maintenance for a little bit of time. I am kind of tempted to maybe get rid of this guy here. I don't think I can afford a level 3 military advisor right now. I think I'm going to keep these because the advisor cost things are really, really nice, and the production efficiency is really, really nice, and I'm, I'm happy to spend these points. Um, is there like a army maintenance one, maybe? No, I would love an army maintenance one. Modern firearm techniques, though, would be amazing. Oh, should I do that? I think I'm going to do that. 30% combat strength seems really damn good. So, let's run over here. Uh, yeah, I think... I know, I know he's only new and I haven't had him that long. But I, I think I have to fire him. But he's so good. The land maintenance modifier is just worth so much to me. It's almost paying for the difference. Yeah, war games. Wait a minute. War games. Ah, this is the thing that gives me the yearly army professional professionalism. Now, ah, okay. So yeah, I'm just I'm in a bit of a tight spot. I'm in a little bit of a tight spot, uh, and I may have to uh, I may have to de maintenance some of my forts. In fact, I'm going to do that. Wait, what's our income here? Yeah, I think I'm going to mothball my forts. As useful as it is to have the fully maintained forts thing, I think it's just a matter of I have to mothball forts. To try and survive here. Um, Cash-wise, just because we need a surplus, but we have a loan to pay off and everything. You know what I mean? So let's get this doom stack moving in. Okay, so we have way, 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 way more morale. We have a little bit more discipline. I think our infantry fight harder, right, than compared to theirs. Yeah, we've got a 40% infantry combat power and a 20% cavalry. So we should kill these pretty damn quick. Okay, there we go. Stack wiped him nice and quick. Let's get this 12k over here. We need to get up to here. And we'll see if we can't take those on. There are some rebel uprisings happening over here, I believe. If we go over and take a little bit of a peek, 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 peek. Uh, uh, the Which one is unrest again? I'm trying to remember. Is it this one? Yes. So there's a little bit of unrest over here, and I think that's because I lowered autonomy? Yes. Because I was trying to get my absolutism up a little bit. Uh, and now my absolutism is actually up to a pretty high level. Which means we're getting some discipline, we're getting administrative efficiency, we're getting foreign core duration, all these very, very nice things. Uh, particularly the administrative efficiency and the discipline is really quite nice. So we're going to have to keep an eye on these Farsi separatists. Looks like they will revolt actually pretty damn soon. Okay, looks like there's some separatism happening over here. That's fine. This 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 should all be entirely manageable. It's just a matter of um you know, getting over here and doing the stuff that I need to do. Now you guys are going to take a little bit of attrition as you walk over here, but that's not it's not to be worried about to be honest. Uh, trade protection against these guys. Now I want to take. I want to see if I can uh, 
maybe take control of... Now, I know I have colonies going over here, right? Where's my other colony? Hold on. Oh, he's on, he's on his way. He's almost there. Okay, I have a colonist going over here. Now, the culture here is Bornean. Which is definitely not the culture that I, you know, want to be, like... It's definitely not the culture I should be, you know, trying to create here. But I'm going to... Oh, there's Indonesia. Majapahit Mach, Empire. Um, we're going to try to... We're going to try to basically take over as much of this land as possible. Thanks to the expansion ideas. Giving me a colonist. Now, I believe I can get another colonist here. Diplomatic reputation. No, apparently I can't. But I can get some interesting ones here, like global trade power and construction costs. Very cool. Now we're still losing money. I think that's because my army is reinforcing. Why don't you go deal with this? See if we can't chase those. Okay, so they're actually claiming provinces now. I was building a spy network in Ethiopia. I don't think I need to do that anymore. Uh, I am building a spy network in Adal. Who else do I want to start making claims on, actually? Look at the trade modes. Yeah, I would love to have control of Basra. What I would also like to do is maybe get my hands on some uh, trade ships over here and try to pull trade from Aleppo to Alexandria because th I'm thinking I might try to move Alexandria to be my main port of call. Um, I might try to move away from being in Aden. Although, who has power here? The Mamluks, Mara, Salawaka, Afghanistan. Yeah, they're all pulling it in different directions, really. I mean, I'm pulling a lot forward here. There's a lot over here. But yeah, I'm, I'm thinking of making Alexandria my main port of call. It's, a, it's an option. I don't know if I'll do it. If I could take over all these, like, really highly uh, prized trading areas, I think it could work. There's a truce expired with Mushasha. Actually, speaking of which, I should, uh, I should be spying on Mushasha and seeing if I can fabricate some claims. And I've got another one of those guys. Let me have a look. Am I improving relations with any of these guys? Improve relations? I should improve relations with Ethiopia. Now, Ethiopia, I definitely think they hate my guts, but they are no way near um, strong enough to try to break away. So here's what I'll do. I might even just put my own relative on the throne. I enforced my religion. It would take them a long time. It would take them a long time to recover from this pain if I were to do this. Uh, you know what it might be time to do? It might be time to annex Funge, actually. I think it's time to annex Funge. Cancel, so... I don't need to build a spy network in the Mamluks. I'm gonna cancel this guy. And you should come back in 50x whatever days. And then I'll be able to annex this guy. Funge. As much as I like having Funge under my wing. Uh, you know. So this... Part of the army is going to land first. Some separatists. Okay, some good kills. Let's get the higher one. You head over there. We're dealing with some revolts. That's pretty normal. I can, I, I, I feel. Uh, you know, it's not. I don't think it's anything that's going to really like break us. But it is just going to be a little bit of um, management required in keeping these uh, separatist movements under control. But yeah, that's pretty normal for them to gain 10 years of separatism. They've already revolted. Ah, it looks like uh, they attacked me, interestingly. Okay. Okay, let's see if we can deoccupy some of this territory. In fact, I think I'm going to send you over here to participate in this fight as well, because this guy actually has really good uh, stats. I'm going to split this army in half and have it kind of just 
do a mixture of cleaning up these things. Although really, can't I do... Yeah, I'm going to put this little army on autonomous re uh, rebel suppression. So we're up to... Uh, these are really big stacks we're fighting here. Yao wants to buy. Where the hell is Yao? Here? I'm not sure. I digress. Uh, we're about... I want to say we're just over halfway through the entire game, which <laughs> really is not... Uh, <laughs> it's not exactly something I'm going to be like, Hey, look, we're halfway through the game. It's more like, oh god, we're only halfway through the game? Okay, so let me actually s detach a siege. By the way around, you guys need to go here and autonomously suppress rebels. So there's the rival of the rival. We get a little bit of Diplo power. We don't actually have a valid mission right now, which is totally fine. I think we're past missions at this point. We should be able to get a kill on this uh, little stack here. We have too much trouble. Let's see if we can't catch this 32 stack. Okay, Al Quds has been that's Jerusalem, I believe. Okay. So you're gonna arrive when? 9th of September, 31st of August. There we go. Now you'll arrive on the right day. So these guys should arrive on the same day. And do significant damage. There we go. We take, a, we take a bit of extra damage, but it's not so bad. And then we can put them both on autonomous rebel suppression. I'll send you over there. Due to reaching maximum value, recall diplomat with Poland. Okay. We're losing trade protection, Cassus Bellies. Ooh. I could get global settlers increased. That would mean my thingies would go faster over here. Significantly faster, actually, because 10 per year. Um, I believe because of the way the percentage goes up here, it would actually increase it by quite a bit. You see the colony uh, colony level, or uh, it is a colony level, or maybe it's colony size or something. Basically, the bigger your colony is, the faster you get new settlers. Uh, that entirely depends. Do we need this tech? Well, we're ahead of time in technology, but we won't be ahead of time for forever. I can't embrace global trade yet because it is uh, it's spreading though. Let me tell you. Pretty slow. Printing press is present. Neighboring provinces have global trade. I mean, I feel like I feel like this is spreading at a reasonable pace. It's kind of slow. It's a little slow. I will say that it's a li it's a little bit slow. I would love to have the money to be able to properly do this. But right now, it's just not, um... It's just not an option. So, I'm gonna I think I'm gonna grab this. The global settler increase is really nice. And it'll make my, um, next few admin techs cheaper. I've got four years to save up. I'm getting 120, 100, what, 120 admin per year, let's say. The tech will cost somewhere in the region of, I don't know, some amount. Uh, by then I may have embraced global trade. I think I need to go to war and like steal someone's money because I'm having trouble. Okay, we're clearing out a lot of these things. Merchant's Guild's granted monopolies has expired. Okay, that's really good because it means we can go talk to the Merchant's Guild and boost their friendship with me. Um, because right now, 
yeah, that's that's going to shave a few years off uh, their anger with me. There's no way for me to give them even more loyalty. Well, what I could do is I could give them a province. So if I were to go into the states map mode, if I look at merchants guilds, they would really like this province. Have a look over here. Some of these guys, eleven. This would give them 71% influence. Be too, I think it would be too much. The Ulema have a very high influence as well. We'll leave them to be a little bit disloyal because it, that's really what's hurting me here, the uh, trade efficiency thing. Very painful. I don't think I need the prestige, so I'm going to grab the stability. That'll give me that little bit of tax, which might offset my current costs and stuff. Nope. Reinforcements should be going away, though. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to avoid drilling. Uh, just purely because... too expensive. Because I need to save up money to embrace this, uh, embrace this institution. Amongst a, amongst a million other things that I need to do. But yeah, we've got, we've got, I think we're in a good, I think we're in pretty good shape here. State maintenance minus 10%. Oh, that's 10 years of cheaper state maintenance. That's actually really, really nice. I'm on board with that. Oh God, God damn it. No, I've never had that event not kill an heir. I've never had that event not a kill in air. Really, really and truly, I have not. I'm a fifth ranked global power. I would like to be rank uh, four. So, where are we going towards legalism? I think we were going to go towards legalism here because we don't have any people to convert. So, this is going to be a nice boost to our tax modifier as well and our tech cost. So, these things are all going to be pushing us in the right direction. We can 30 gold per, per thingy. Yeah, I need to pay this off. This is like critical that I pay this off. I'll wait until it expires, just so I don't have to have very, very low cash for a period of time. Okay, I could have six more units. I'm going to drill just this army. Um, so that it can reinforce. Okay, mission here, to conquer sh Shit. Ah, yes, excellent. So that gives me a thingy here, a claim. And then I can talk to you and I will... Uh, oh, I need a little bit more. Oh, I should have fabricated the claim, I see. Hmm. Ethiopia's Liberty Dadar is still... Oh. I have an army over here? I forgot I had an army over here. Alrighty, nice one. Cool. Conscription army. May build supply depots, can refill garrison, regain manpower when disbanding. Ah, I didn't even know I had this army over here. I guess I just forgot about it. It's really not the composition that I want to have. It should be 624. And this is like 621. So we'll need to... Get three more artillery here. Hey, nice! My guy got an extra siege pip. And he got a new level of professionalism. Yes! So we're not going to take this just yet. I want to wait a little bit until that goes through. Got to think about my next idea. I'm thinking to take an exploration here. Although, should I... I would really only be taking exploration for the extra... Um, colonists, really, is all I want from that. I think I might even be better off taking trade... Or espionage. Espionage is an, always an idea group that I want to play around with. I'm thinking of maybe taking economic, trade, and uh, espionage. 
the order in which I take those matters though, so we'll have to kind of see. We are in the age of absolutism, although it will be ending <laughs> at some point. Um, so let's see, we want to move towards legalism, this will give you Lematon loyalty. Mecha area gets local goods producing monthly autonomy. Yeah, we definitely want to move towards legalism, even if that does hurt that particular area. Um, it means overall my cash should increase. Ah! Alright, so who do we want to claim on? I think we want to claim on a doll. We're already fabricating on a doll. Have a look, I can't fabricate claims on you. Afghanistan is getting kind of big. I'm already fabricating on Mushasha, but I have to kind of wait. Let's have a look. Where Where is the Ottomans' concerns? What do they want? Well, I think the Mamluks are like a big target for me. We've got five years before we need to make that decision, though. Uh, Sharika. And Kahira. I have a few little provinces here and there that aren't fully aried up. Administrative ideas actually is really nice for the plus five states. Although we'll get more states here soon. Like we get plus five states in like two techs. It's a lot of states. Well, let's continue on here while we kind of make our make our few decisions. Uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna undrill you now. Where's that other guy? Okay, I'm going to take you off Autonomous Rebel Suppression. I'm going to drill this army and this army. Good news, Mamluk's opinion of Yemen has increased. Okay, I'm going to drill these armies just to uh, reinforce them. Repay loan. Okay. So let's have a look at the institution. It should have gotten cheaper, but it actually got more expensive somehow. All right. There's a lot of people who have... Wow, a lot of people have global trade and I don't. That's uh, it's kind of sad. Although I should be making enough money to be able to embrace it very, very soon. Once these guys are done... Um, done drilling. How many years? Two years until I feel comfortable taking the Diplotech. Although, I have plenty of room for saved points. Let me go in here. Okay, I'm going to undrill you. I'm going to undrill you. Because I'm currently in cash saving time. So it's about saving that money. Marketplace, local tax modifier. There are some good places to build these, actually. They would pay themselves off quite nicely. Um, even the production workshop here, like in Qatar, would be amazing to build that here. But right now I want to get the institution embraced, so I'm going to hold on. Oh, hell yeah. Put, it, put that into the treasury. I'm only a few months away now. I should be like 10 months away from uh, embracing this. I should check if there's any provinces ready to go, actually. Okay, I lost a general. It's fine. Let's have a look and see. Are there any provinces that are ready to, uh, to pop, actually? You're really, really close, so I might wait for you. I wish there was a way to see how far along places were. Like, at a glance. You're almost done. Yeah, some of them are pretty close. A lot of these places actually have it. Although printing presses has spread much slower, so that's... I'm actually in pretty good shape. Um, but yeah, once once this province flips, I'll embrace. It saved me, what, like three ducats or something? I don't know. I don't know how much it costs per, per province or whatever. But let's go up to a high speed, and we'll just let this take over. Like two or three more months, and... Okay. So we'll pause the game. We'll go down to a lower speed. We will call that diplomat. We'll go in over here. We'll go to the tech. We're ready to embrace. Oh, I guess I need to wait like two or three months for the cash. One, two, three. There we go. Embrace. We get plus one merchant. Excellent. So, 
I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Remember to leave a like if you want to directly support my channel. And remember to leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback. Other than that, though, I want to say I love you all very much. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.